Some teachers are really like, uh, like judgmental, like, oh, you're in care because you've done something wrong. Like, mm -hmm. they just have a go at you and they don't believe what you're saying. They always believe that other people who are not in care, like, if you'd had a fight with somebody who wasn't in care, they would just automatically think it was the people in care's fault. But then some teachers are fine. So. Some teachers. Um, do support you and some people well a lot of people don't but some if you have like true friends like your best friend they could support you every step of the way even if you have rough times or good times sometimes it feels like it's better not to tell anybody you're in care and to tell people you're just at home with your mum and dad and all that because if they don't know they be if they don't know you won't be bullied but that's like really bad. You have to keep your life secret from people. I think it'll help people, like pupils in schools, understand what it's like for people in care. And I think it could make them see reality and it could make them stop bullying. Could, hopefully. There's still be... be great if you stop bullying. Yeah. Like. It'll be very amazing if they all stop right when the videos it, out. It'll never be like that. We don't know in the future, somebody, 25 years time, yeah. 60 years yeah. time. There'll be always somebody who's there judging you, but at least we're getting the confidence, we're standing up for ourselves and we're speaking out. And I guess that's part of the reason for, for you guys doing the, the DVD is, yeah. to, is to help just help pupils and yeah. teachers well, just understand maybe some of the, the issues and experiences that you've had. Yeah, that's one of the main... I some teachers that don't keep things private confidential. I just want to make a change and I want it not to, people not to be judged in care. And I want to change that. I want to know I was involved in that. Not, not like people who don't, who don't have any experience in care was just like, oh, well, we can't do anything about it. Well, we can. Mary and her brother Joseph have just been placed away from home because her parents are both drinkers and have not been looking after them properly. Mary has been in a foster placement for two weeks. Her brother Joseph is in a different foster placement 30 miles away. Mary had to move school when she came into foster care. Mary was meant to be seeing her parents and her brother after school today. She hasn't seen them since she came into care. However, her social worker has just been to see her to tell her that her mum and dad have been drinking again and contact has been cancelled. Mary is very upset and angry about this. Today we're going to be working on your film reviews of the, the film that you saw at the weekend, which was Star Wars. So thinking about the content... Mary, what's going on? Stop being so rude and come and sit down. So for your sake, I'll go over again what we're going to be doing, okay? So we're going to be doing a film review of the film that you saw um, at the weekend, which is Star Wars. So I was saying that you need to be really thinking about the content of that. Um, but also don't forget about the introduction um, and the conclusion part as well. So, right, Mary, that is enough. No, it isn't. You just... No, no. Go, and, go out and see your guidance teacher right now. Okay, so getting back to that film review. Mary feels really stressed and upset because she doesn't think it was fair that she was seen as the bad person when Jade's note had said, you're a doorknob and nobody likes you, ha ha. No wonder you're in your My parents don't even care all oh, the owners. I know, wonder you don't have any friends. You're mental. Mental, mental, mental. What did you do anyway to be in care? What did you do, burn down the school or something? <laughs> <laughs> Leave her alone, stop bullying her. What's it got to do with you? Bye. She's one of us now, how'd she like it? Why are you singing up for that? She's nothing but a crybaby and a liar. Crybaby, crybaby! 
What's going on here? You made it into my office now. Right, you really think about your actions, the way you talk to people, and the way you are. But... Remember, you have been in school for two weeks, and you're causing trouble already. But... Don't but me. This is not the way you talk to your head teacher. Your consequence is you get detention for two days after school. But you can't do that, because I'm seeing my brother Joseph tomorrow. We well, should have thought about that be before you behave so badly. I'll be contacting your foster carer to let her know that your behaviour is atrocious. Now get out of my office at once. What about the bullies? Not another word. So Mary, what's been happening? Well, my mum and dad's been drinking again, so I can't see them, and there are some girls in my class been bullying me. That's not good. It sounds like you're going through a really difficult time. What I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to set up a meeting with your guidance teacher and your foster carer and see what we can make better. Sounds good, thanks. So how are the girls bullying you? Well, they're throwing letters at my class and ganging up on my outside. Well, that's not good. What are these girls' names? Well, there's Jade, she's the main leader, and there's Lucy, Jenny and Suzanne. I don't think they understand the situation. I'm really glad you were able to speak to me and I'm going to set up a meeting with them. Okay, thanks. Come in, girls. Where's Jade? She's off sick today. Please take a seat. Right, so what has been happening with you and Mary? Nothing, just trying to make her feel welcome. Well, that's not what I've heard. She's going through a really tough time at the moment and it's difficult for her. It's not her fault. Well, we didn't know that. Well, now you do, so stop picking on her. You will be getting detention after school and I would really appreciate it if you apologise to Mary. Okay, okay if, if we, we have, have to. to. Mary, please come in. Take a seat. Right, Mary, the girls have something to say to you. We are sorry. We didn't realise you've got a lot going on in your life. Yeah, yeah we, we are, are sorry. sorry. And you can join us for lunch if you'd like. Yeah, OK. Thank you, girls. And I hope there will be no more bullying. And I'm glad you've made up. Yeah. OK. Just because I'm good doesn't give you the right to push me around. Just because I'm good doesn't give you the right to push me around. Members of the YPOC group share each other's true stories of being in care. Names have been changed to protect confidentiality. The reason I came into care was because I needed support because my family couldn't give us support. When I first came into care, I was scared and shy. I also cried too. I have lived in one placement. I really enjoy school because I stuck in so hard and I passed my assessments. Now I'm in college. I didn't have to change schools. My brothers and sisters came into care too, but they were separated from me. Now I see my mum, my dad and my granddad on a weekly basis, but little contact with my brothers and my half-sister. What got better was that I got more support and now I go to college. I fundraise because I've got more confidence. What got worse was getting bullied and it stressed me out and it's hard to deal with. After my dad died, my mum left me with my older sister. When I first came into care, it was terrifying. I was happy I got to stay at the same school because I could stay with my friends and the teachers I knew. My 15-year-old brother came with me, but my other sisters and brothers stayed at home. My mum never keeps in contact, but I see one of my sisters every month. And I see my brother and sister every holiday. Since being in care, I've lost a lot of weight and I gained a lot of confidence and got lots of friends. My parents used to hit me. My parents were alcoholics. When I first came into care, it was really scary. It was because I thought I was going to be separated from my brothers. I had been in eight placements. I had an exotic change of schools from Scotland to Spain. Then I moved from Spain back to Scotland. I felt absolutely awful and so scared. I kept in touch with my family with, with Skype, except at Christmas when I see my family that lives in England. Since being in care, some 
things got worse, like the memories of being hit. We came into care because the social worker thought we were safe at home. It was scary as nothing was explained to us. I have lost count of the number of placements we had. I changed skills so often it began to feel like normal. My little brother stayed with me for the first bit of me being in care, but we got split up. Eventually, I kept in touch with my family through face-to-face -face contact and phone contact. Nothing got better in my life when I came into care. Everything got worse. I came into care because my mum couldn't look after me. When I first came into care, it felt terrifying. I was scared, worried, stressed and confused. I had moved eight times and I had to move because some of my carers had their own problems and I also did stuff I shouldn't have. I have moved school six times because I moved placements so much. I am confused a lot because I have had lots of different things to get used to. It is scary and I am worried about failing exams because I haven't studied enough. My brothers and I are separated and my brothers live separate from each other. I stay in touch with my family by phone. The worst things are the bullying and problems with my family. I'm happier being in care. Life is great and meeting lots of new people. I was two and a half. My mum couldn't look after me because she had a brain damage from a car crash. I got moved five times. One time I got moved from annoying another foster child. I had to move school once since I've been in care. It was a crap. I lost my friends and had to make friends all over again. My sisters are in care but we live in different places and we do see each other sometimes. The things that got worse since being in care is too many people had barged into my life like counsellors and social workers. I came into care because my family. I felt like shit. When I came into care I have lost kind of number of placements I have had. School was shit. I kept in touch with my family by phone. My life did get better when I came into care, but it was hard not living with my family. I came into care because my mum gave me up due to being mentally unstable, and the fact that she had my little sister added to the pressure. I was abused by my mum and dad, and then my mum's new partner when I first moved up to Scotland. When I first came into care, I was scared because I didn't know what was going on. I lived in four different placements before staying with the same foster carer for 20 years. School was fine because nobody really cared that I was in care. My little sister stayed with my mum and my big sister went to England to live with my dad. I see my mum on a somewhat regular basis, now I'm older, but I haven't seen my dad in 19 years. Every, everything got better when I came into care as my foster carers gave me a silver spoon that I was born with. It was hard getting to the age of 16 as I had the fear of moving away or getting booted out my own flat. When I was first taken into care, I felt scared because I didn't know anyone and also I was far away from my family. I stayed in one placement. I stayed at the same school and my friends were fine, but everyone else made fun of me. My brother stayed at home when I was placed into care. I had contact with my mum. In care, I got lunch money and got to go to a lot of new places, which was fun. The worst thing about being in care was people making fun of me. I went into care because my mother was too young to look after me and my brother, and neither could my dad. When I first came into care, it felt scary and confusing. I have had five placements and I moved a lot because of my anger issues. I have moved school too. I had changed school because my stepbrother was telling everyone why I went into care and it was scary as I got bullied. I get to see my mum and, and my two sisters and brother. Nothing got better for me when I came into care. Being in care, some things got worse. I couldn't cope with the stress, so I, I would self-harm. What will you do differently to support looked-after children and young people in your school?